Hello, friend. This episode contains a song that contains a lot of naughty words. So every year in early June, Apple holds what's called the Worldwide Developers Conference. Uh, They announce new products and show off their new software, whatever. And I watched the keynote, and for the last eight years, I've been recapping the keynote with a song, uh, just as part of Song A Day. So that's what we're working on today. And the big news out of this year's keynote was the Mac Pro. Ooh, it's this huge (laughs) honking machine. It's super powerful. It's crazy, and people are excited about it. So let's do this. You are listening to As It Happens, a show about songwriting in real time. I'm Jonathan Mann. I've been writing a song a day since January 1st of 2009. There are infinite ways to approach writing a song, and you never know how it's going to go. This could be the best thing I have ever written, or it could be a big pile of (laughs) doo-doo. So let's see. Okay, so for this year's WWDC, I am going to turn a bunch of people's tweets into a song. Tweets like, the Mac Pro has wheels. Double the teraflops. Double the floopy wadits. Shit, yes. Everyone, Syracuse is dead. Syracuse, that tweet uh, is referring to John Syracuse, and he is, among other things, a hilarious and wonderful Mac pundit. And the reason he is dead is because it's sort of an ongoing joke in the community that he's been waiting for 10 years for this new Mac Pro to come out. The first thing I do is just try to find some kind of chorus in these tweets. I think we're going to start with shit yes. Syracuse is dead. Fuck you. Here's your Mac Pro. Fuck you. Here's your Mac Pro. It's in quotation marks because it's like Apple is saying to the Mac community like, oh, you've been waiting so long for this Mac Pro. Well, F you. Here it is, man. Shit, yes. Shit, yes. Syracuse is dead. Shit, yes. Syracuse is dead. Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. Yeah, that's sort of the feeling. And then what we'll do is we'll layer like a ton of vocals. It'll be like a big gang vocal, like Chumba Wumba. <laughs> you know, like, shit, yeah. I am going to put in a drummer track, and we're going to use Logan. Inspired by legendary drum heroes of the past, Logan plays spare, hard-hitting rock beats on a retro-sounding kit. Nice, Logan. We're going to take out the hi-hat. I'm gonna add a compressor. Don't ask me to explain compression. So this is without the compression. And this is with it. Shitty ass, Syracuse is dead. Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. The new Mac Pro's a box. That display too low. How many tweets? That's one, two, three, four tweets with a lot of swearing. My method for doing gang vocals when it's just me, I'm gonna do a bunch of different Voices. Shit yes! Shit yes! Shit yes! Shit yes! Syracuse is dead! It needs like a, it needs a harmony to kind of ground it. Shit yes! Syracuse is dead! Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro! And then I think what I'll do is I'll add like a, like a main vocal. It should just be like I'm almost talking. Shit yes! Syracuse is dead! Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. Okay, so now what I do is I go through, take some of these other tweets and find a way to put them in an order that makes some kind of sense. Um, oh, <laughs> more swearing. Holy shit, the Mac Pro is back. The real Mac Pro is back. Holy shit, the Mac Pro is back. Holy shit. Holy shit, the Mac Pro is back. The real Mac Pro is back. Something like that. And then I hear like a da 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 That's like what I'm hearing. Except we'll do it in a synth. Is that cool? I don't know. This this other tweet is actually from Wired. <laughs> Apple's new Mac Pro allows Logic to have lots and lots and lots of audio tracks. Apple's new Mac Pro allows Logic to have lots and lots, lots and lots and lots of audio tracks. I think I'm also gonna actually add snaps. Ooh, you know what? There's no snare in that part. It's just snaps. 
Yeah, that's right. That's correct. That's the correct move. I think we're just gonna go ahead and record the vocals. No, you know what? Before we do that, we're gonna come up with the next two lines. This line is funny. It comes from um, comedian James Veach. He and I like to nerd out about uh, Mac stuff. Double the teraflops, double the floopy wannets, triple the, bi the bigly figlies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that line and take this line, the Mac Pro has wheels, the Mac Pro is so shiny. Shiny and figlies does not rhyme at all. Double the teraflops, double the floopy wannets. You know what? I might amend this tweet and leave out the floopy wannets. Triple the bigly figlies. The Mac Pro has wheels. The new Mac Pro so shiny, yeah. Like that. So I'm gonna do a little like bridge here. So the structure of the song is just gonna be really simple. It's gonna be chorus, verse, little bridge thing, and then another chorus. The new Mac Pro looks a lot like the old Mac Pro, which is to say it looks exactly like a cheese grater. A ton of tweets were about how it looks like a cheese grater. So I just chose one tweet. The new Mac Pro doesn't look like a trash can anymore. It looks like a cheese grater. This is really nerdy, but like from a nerd perspective, I find it somewhat offensive that these people do not know that like the old Mac Pro looks like a cheese grater before. So this little bridge bit is gonna be kind of self-referential. The tweet is the new Mac Pro doesn't look like, it looks like a cheese grater. I'm gonna then break the format of the song and go out of the tweets and say something about my cheese grater Mac, which is sitting right here next to me. So what does that part sound like? The new Mac Pro doesn't look, the new Mac Pro doesn't look like a trash can anymore. It needs like, um, like a percussion kind of thing. This is really silly. The new Mac Pro doesn't look like a trash can anymore. It looks like a cheese grater. Uh, what am I gonna rhyme with cheese grater? So, so does mine from 2011 and this beast couldn't have been greater. <laughs> okay, we're going back to our rhyming dictionary at Rhyme Zone. Hater, pater, sater, traitor. Oh, agitator is sort of funny. I happen to be a cheese grater agitator. <laughs> uh oh, my wife is texting me. I've got to go take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. You want to come with me while I do that? Let's go over here. I don't think the oven is even on. I'm confused. Oh, aha, I found it. It was in the Instapot. Taking a spaghetti squash out of an Instapot can be a very tricky proposition because it might just completely fall apart. So I'm gonna use oven mitts. And I'm just gonna very gently and put it right here. I have received no further instructions. I don't want you to think that I don't know my way around spaghetti squash. I know what to do with this thing. Gotta take the skin off, gotta get the guts out of it. Very delicious meal. But I'm not sure what my wife has in store for it, so I'm just gonna leave it. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead with my plan for this bit of the song. It looks like a cheese grater. Uh, actually, oh God, am I gonna just be an actually guy? Actually! <laughs> oh, what if I put on like a voice? Actually, my Mac Pro from 2011 um, says hello. So we're gonna use a different sound for that. We're gonna use a, like an organ of some kind. I'm, I'm leaning towards a Mellotron. Can I tell you about how the Mellotrons work? Because it's it's absolutely fascinating. A Mellotron is an instrument that's created, I believe, in the 60s. And the way that it works is that you choose a sound and the sound is played off of a tape. And so you press a key and it chooses the right tape that has that note on it. And it just plays the tape when you hit the key. You've heard it in like Strawberry Fields Forever and many other kind of songs from the 60s and things. That sounds kind of wild. We are gonna take that um, percussion sound and I'm gonna put it through like a, a, a an amp. Actually, my Mac Pro from 2011 says hello and I've personally been a return to cheese grater agitator. Somehow this has to hopefully transition into the chorus in like a not horrible way. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have the music cut out on the word agitator. Er, agitator. Shit, yes. Syracuse yeah, dead. it works. Except now this needs to be like 10 times bigger. Oh, you know what? I'll just use this for some bass sounds. That'll be nice. Shit, yes. 
Syracuse is dead. Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. I think we need to put in some electric guitar. Shit, yes. Syracuse is dead. Fuck you. Okay, so now's the time, now's the moment. Let's hear the full song. Shit, yes. Syracuse is dead. Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. The new Mac Pro's a box. Yes. That display too, though. Holy shit, the Mac Pro is back. The real Mac Pro is back. Apple's new Mac Pro allows Logic to have lots and lots and lots of audio tracks. Double the teraflops. Triple the big leaf fig leaves. The new Mac Pro has wheels. New Mac Pro, it's so shiny. The new Mac Pro doesn't look like a trash can anymore. It looks like a cheese grater. Um, actually, my Mac Pro from 2011 says hello, and I've personally been a return to cheese grater agitator. Shit, yes, Syracuse is dead. Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. The new Mac Pro's a box. Yes, that display too. The Shit, yes, Syracuse is dead. Fuck you, here's your Mac Pro. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Thank you once again for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. It's nice to have you. Let's do a little post-show talk. So it should be obvious um, by now that, you know, I recorded these episodes over the course of about seven months throughout um, 2019. This episode, though, it's coming out in January. Uh, I recorded it in June. It gives you a sense of how long I've been sort of working on this. But um, one thing I wanted to sort of address about this song is like, I know <laughs> I know how silly it seems, and it is, to sort of write a song about an Apple event. And I also have this kind of like contradiction that exists within myself. On the one hand, I you know, grew up using an Apple 2E machine and so I have these like really warm memories about like playing games with my brother and like printing out things for my mom and like it, it has created these these kind of like warm fuzzies that I have towards a company which is which is I admit and understand completely ridiculous and yet those feelings are there and so that's like one side and then the other side of this contradiction is like I think that multinational corporations are the devil and should all be destroyed and their wealth distributed so like while I fanboy Apple and I watch the events it's almost like sort of despite myself it's almost like a people say guilty pleasure or something but it's even more than that because it's there's like a childhood aspect of it that I feel like I can't escape I, I suppose I could if I really tried and maybe I should anyway these are all thoughts that I have every single time I do one of these songs I thought I'd just share that with you here as ever I am so grateful uh, to everyone who's listening to all of you uh, it's great to hear the feedback that you're sending me about the show. That means a lot. Your comments, your reviews, and ratings on iTunes mean a whole lot to me. Your continued support on Patreon, just patreon.com slash Jonathan Mann. That means a whole lot to me as well. And uh, as ever, you can find me on Twitter at Man. You can find me on Instagram where I share pictures of my children as well as um, song of day songs that I particularly like. It's sort of like, in some ways, Instagram is almost like a curated thing of my song a day, uh, where I post them all to YouTube. But I, ones that I like, or ones that I think are sort of funny, or just have a have a good vibe, I post to Instagram. So if you want to be in on that, um, I'm just Jonathan Mann on Instagram, and you can also always email me, Jonathan at JonathanMann.net. I give this song a B minus. I don't know. It's definitely not my favorite WWDC recap song that I've ever done. Uh, I've definitely done better than this. But oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. And uh, you know what I say, there's always tomorrow. Tomorrow.